This is the third in a series of videos covering the third lecture of the Computer Fundamentals topic of the IES Information Technology course. This video deals with storage devices, which are both input and output devices, and they're commonly known as I.O. devices. Throughout the development of the computer, researchers have sought ways to store increasing amounts of data on increasingly small devices. The most common storage device is the hard disk drive, HDD. First developed in 1956 with a beast of a device that was the size of two refrigerators and stored 3.75 megabytes. Today's hard drives can be as small as two and a half inches or 10 centimeters and store gigabytes of data. A hard disk drive consists of steel disks coated with magnetic material sealed in a container. The read-write heads of the disk are mounted on an arm similar to the ones found on vinyl record players. Watch the video linked in the description to see a hard disk drive in action. Most personal computers come with a large capacity hard disk drive installed inside the system box as it's the primary way data is stored long term. External hard drives are now also a common way of taking data with you or they're also used as backup devices. External drives can be either externally powered or use the power available through USB ports. 1999. It saw the demise of the floppy disk. The floppy disk was developed as an inexpensive way to load data into a computer. The first floppy, introduced in 1971, was 20 centimetres squared and held only 80 kilobytes of data. Capacity was increased over time, but the first floppy wasn't very portable, so two further revisions happened. They became smaller and increased in capacity, as you can see. The smallest of the three discs was actually designed to fit into a business shirt pocket. In 1999, the first solid state flash drive was released. Its advantages over the floppy were obvious. They didn't need a special drive to use them as they plugged into a USB port, and most importantly, the capacity of even the first generation flash drives meant replacing the equivalent of at least 20 floppy disks. Now portable flash drives can hold hundreds of gigabytes of data, and they are just so convenient. The continued development of flash devices has led to the solid state drive, SSD, which in some portable devices has replaced the hard drive. Many high-end laptops come with both solid-state devices and hard disk drives installed. This begs the question, why? While solid-state drives are faster and less prone to failure, they are more expensive when compared to, with a hard disk drive on a per gigabyte basis. Therefore, a combination of the two provides speed via the solid-state device for commonly accessed data and a large capacity in the hard disk drive for less frequently used data. Other common storage devices include optical disk drives which consist of CD, DVD and Blu-rays, SD cards which are commonly used in cameras and mobile devices, and tape drives which are used when data is not needed quickly and large volumes need to be stored in one place. This makes them excellent for backup. To see a more comprehensive timeline of storage devices, click on the link in the description and do some of your own investigation. That's the end of the series of videos for Computer Fundamentals Lecture 3.